In today's world, there's a lot of misinformation out there when it comes to heating and cooling your home. So in this video, we're gonna cover 10 myths about heating your home and find out which ones are true and which ones are a bust. Hi, I'm Jared from Fire and Ice, and we realize that you may have a lot of questions when it comes to choosing the best HVAC system for your home. In this video, we'll sit down with Arnie Jacobson, a residential sales professional for Fire and Ice. Arnie has over 40 years of HVAC experience, so he'll tell you 10 myths that he's heard over the years. By the end of this video, you'll have a better understanding of your HVAC system, and you'll be ready to take the next step in selecting the heating system that's right for you. So Arnie, let's jump in and cover the first myth we see. If I set my thermostat higher, my house will heat up faster. Usually when uh, we're running a furnace, it goes back to the time that the furnace was designed for the house. And uh, all the building materials that are associated with the house, like the windows, the insulation in the ceilings, the floors, all those have a direct bearing on the size of the furnace that the house requires. It doesn't matter where you set the temperature to, it's going to take its whatever a lot of time that it needs to heat up to that particular temperature based on the size of the furnace in the house. All right, here's the next myth. It's more cost efficient to leave the heater at the same temperature all day, whether I'm home or not. Uh, it is better to set back the uh, furnace during the day when you're not uh, home. You wanna try to uh, set it back around five degrees or so, which is the most convenient to, uh, to save on energy and also to uh, the time allotment that is needed to bring the furnace back up to temperature. Here's the next myth about heating your home. I can use space heaters or fireplaces to replicate the heat of an HVAC system. Space heaters and fireplaces do produce some heat, but not uh, enough to satisfy the whole house. So the furnace is going to be able to maintain the temperature throughout the whole house and not just the particular area that the space heater or fireplace are in. All right, Arnie, the next myth is windows matter more than my furnace since so much heat can escape from them. That, that's kind of true and false. They, they both matter and we size furnaces based on building materials and the windows have a big role in that. So the better the window, the less your heating load's gonna be. The next myth is a good one. Since warm air rises, why not just heat the basement and allow it to travel upward? In the old days, we used to use what's called a gravity furnace. And that's where uh, we didn't have blowers in the furnaces and it was based on how heat rises and cold air falls. But it was very inefficient to do that because the furnaces had to be so big to be able to transfer that heat. Uh, today's systems are much more efficient at uh, operating and, and uh, with the use of the blowers uh, in our ductwork. Here's the next myth we see. I need to run my heat constantly in the winter to keep the pipes from freezing. You should maintain a certain temperature in the house if there are pipes that are, are exposed in the house. A lot of times uh, the water lines or water pipes are not in the house, they may be in walls and so forth that we just can't heat. And uh, th so at those times, they, the, there is a chance for the, of the pipes freezing. So the next myth about heating your home is that heat pumps won't work in freezing temperatures. If we consider freezing temperatures below 32 degrees, heat pumps are meant to run down below zero. And they, they are not going to be able to produce the full uh, capacity that's needed from them at those temperatures so they would need some source of backup heat, whether it would be electric, gas, propane. There are, however, new heat pump systems now that are variable speed that one of the great advantages of them is that they are able to run and produce uh, almost 100% of the heat down in the teens. So that has been a big advantage for, uh, for our industry and our customers. All right, Arnie, here's the next myth. If I close vents in certain rooms, I can save money. That's not necessarily always true. Um, we can redirect airflow from uh, one room to another without closing the vent all the way, and that will help in some hot, cold spots. 
but uh, if we close a, a vent in a particular, say a bedroom and, and we have a return air in there as well, we're not pressurizing that room now so the return actually puts a negative pressure on the room and when you have negative pressure in a room, uh, air flow is going to flow in through the ceilings or the windows to bring in cold or hot air. So it's not always a good idea to close the, uh, the registers all the way in a, in a room. So the next myth we see is that fans don't help in the winter. Running a fan continuously on a furnace, uh, in my opinion, always helps uh, because now you're circulating the air throughout the whole house and if you have hot cold spots that will become much less of, of an issue because you're stabilizing their temperatures in all the rooms. Um, and then the equipment, the air conditioner or furnace will come on and off as needed, but you're still circulating the air, which by the way, when you do that, you're also filtering it. So that's helping keep the system clean and so forth. And finally, the last myth we see about heating your home is my furnace is running fine. I don't need yearly maintenance on it. That's false. You should always have yearly maintenance uh, performed on your furnace. Uh, with the newer furnaces now, you have to uh, have maintenance to protect the uh, part warranties that are in effect. The furnaces and air conditioners should be also maintained, cleaned and serviced to uh, make sure that they're running at their full potentials. Uh, even if they're running doesn't mean that it, they're running properly. If you would like more information about HVAC systems, click the link in the description below. If you found this video helpful, feel free to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get notifications every time we upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and we're looking forward to making your day even better.